Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find all lonely numbers in the array. So in this question, we're given an array called num. A number x is lonely when it appears only once and no adjacent numbers that is x plus 1 and x minus 1 appear in the array. We have to return all the lonely numbers present in the array nums and return it as a list of integers. So this is the input nums given and this is the function name find lonely. Now let's take a look at these examples and see how the logic can be applied. First let's start by creating a hash map with the keys and values being integers. So for example if this is the hash map we have created the key is going to store integers and the value is going to store integers. So the key will hold the array array element and the value will hold the frequency of that array element. So we'll form pairs of keys and values where the key will be the array element in the input array and its value will be the frequency of that element. So if you take this example, first we'll iterate from the 0th index position till the end of the array. Let's start with this element. We'll see if this element is present inside the map. As of now, nothing is present. So add this element in the key place and its value will set it as one. Whenever you find an element which is not present inside the map, simply put that element into the map and set its frequency to one. Now let's do the same for the next element. Six is not present. So put six into the map and set its frequency to one. Similarly for five, put five into the map and set its frequency to one. Now for eight, enter eight into the map and set its frequency to 1. Now let's come to the third step. Let us declare a list of integers to store the result. Here I have declared a list which is initially empty because the return type for the function given to us is a list. Now using map.entry interface, let us iterate through each entry inside the map. These are the four entries present inside the map. We'll check one entry at a time. We are using entry because we can access each key and each value inside the map and check for all the entries. So using a for each loop and the map.entry interface, create a set of of entries using the entry set method. First, we'll start with this entry, right? We have to check if value is equal to 1. If value is equal to 1, then it is a unique element as it appears only once. So we have four unique elements inside the array. So according to the definition of lonely number, it should occur only once inside the array. Now we have to check for the second condition that x plus 1 and x minus 1 should be not present inside the input array. So this is x, right? In each entry, whatever is present inside the keys place is a value of x. So x plus 1 1 is 11 and x minus 1 is 9. We have to check if 11 and 9 are present inside the key inside the map. Since they are not present, you can add this element x into the list. Now coming to the second entry, we have to check if this value is equal to 1. Yes, it is equal to 1. Now for the second check, we have to check if x plus 1 that is 7 and x minus 1 5. We have to check if 7 or 5 is present inside the map. 7 is not present but 5 is present. So this is not a lonely number. Let's do the same for the third entry. Value is 1. Okay. We have to check if x plus 1 6 or x minus 1 4. 6 or 4 are present inside the map. 4 is not present but 6 is present. So it is not a lonely number. So you don't add that element into the list. As of now, we have only one element inside the list that is 10. Now coming to the last entry before the loop break, we have to check if the value is equal to 1. Yes, it is equal to 1. We have to check if x plus 1 9 or x minus 1 7. If 9 or 7 is present inside the key place because keys represent the array elements. So you can check if 9 or 7 is present inside the keys place. No, it is not present. So x is a lonely number. So you add it inside the list 8. So this is the final value of the list which contains two elements 10 and 8. So you return them as the output. You might note that 8 or 10 can also be returned because inside the hash map entries are not placed according to the order of occurrence. They are randomly placed. If you take a linked hash map, entries will be placed inside a linked hash map according to the order of occurrence. But as they have said, the order may vary. So you can use a hash map. Now let's do for this example, add the element starting from left into the map is not present inside the map. So add it with its value equal to 1. 3 is not present. So add it into the map. 5 is not present. Add it into the map and set its frequency to 1. 3 is present inside the map. So increment its frequency by 1. So frequency of 3 is 2 now. Because because hash map does not contain duplicate values, it does not add another 3 into the hash map. So that is why you are using a hash map to store a key and frequency pair. Now let's do the same. Let's use entry set and then check if the value is equal to 1. Yes, value is equal to 1. We have to check 
if x plus 1 2 or x minus 1 0 0 or 2 is not present so you can add that element into the list now let's take this entry we have to check if the value is equal to 1 no it is not equal to 1 so it is not a lonely number because lonely numbers occur only once here you can see 3 occurs twice so it's not a lonely number so you don't add this element into the list let's go for the next entry we have to check if this keys value is equal to 1 yes it is equal to 1 you have to check if x plus 1 6 or x minus 1 4 no it is not present so it is a lonely number so you add 5 into the answer list so this is what the list will contain at the end because we reached the last entry and there are no more entries to check so 1 and 5 is the output now let's implement this logic in a java program try to recall the steps that i've mentioned we'll code it up in the same order so first let's start with creating a hash map Now let's iterate through the input array nums from left to right. To add elements into the map, there are two steps. First, we have to check if that element is present inside the map or not. First, we'll check if that element is present inside the map as key. If map dot contains key of nums of i. If that element is present inside the map, you have to increment its frequency by 1. So map.put nums of i. Now get its current frequency. So map.get of nums of i. We have got the current frequency and increment it by 1. Now in the else block, it means that that element is not present inside the map. So you simply add that element into the map nums of i and set its frequency to 1 initially. Now let us create a result list because the return type is an integer so this will store the result now that we have the list which will store the result let us use the entry interface and create a entry set for all the entries present inside the map because we have to check for each entry at a time let us place this entry set inside a for each loop so for map.entry the entry will contain the same key and value data type so integer and integer i'm going to name it entry with a lowercase e you can name it whatever you want and create an entry set using the entry set method on the map now that we have the entry let us check for each entry that its value is equal to one because the first condition here they said is that a number x is lonely when it appears only once so you can find out this by checking if the value is equal to one that means that that element is occurring only once inside the array so if entry dot get value is equal to one now we have to check the second condition that x plus 1 and x minus 1 should not be present inside the array so x here is the array element right so array elements are present inside the map as keys so we have to check if map dot contains key x is present as key inside that entry right so entry dot get key now we have x we have to check if map contains x plus 1 so this should be false x plus 1 should not be present and we also have to check if x minus 1 is also not present inside the map so map dot contains key x is the key inside the entry entry dot get key and minus 1 so this should also not be present inside the map so false so if this condition passes you can add that key so entry dot get key into the list so list dot add of entry dot get key and now outside the for each loop you can return the list which will be storing the final answer now let's try to run the code there is a typo here k starts with a capital letter let's try to run the code again there you have it by getting the expected output the order does not matter it has the same elements so let's submit the code there you have it a solution has been accepted the runtime is pretty huge because the test cases might contain a very large input because you can see here the constraint is that each number can be 10 to the power of 6 and the length can be 10 power 5 coming to the time complexity the time complexity is o of n where n denotes the number of elements inside the input array the space complexity is also o of n because you're using a list to store the elements and also using a map to store the elements. That's it guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.